23-year-old Emirati, Mahmoud Al Shalan, made waves in the local fitness scene when he won the Emirates Fitness Championships in 2013. He then went on to become the first ever CrossFit athlete to be sponsored by Red Bull globally. Physique TV met up with Mahmoud to know more about his routine. I've started doing CrossFit three years ago as a hobby to stay fit, but eventually like, I started pulling me away from, ba from basketball. So um, I got hooked on it. And uh, since then I started uh, training CrossFit regularly every day. CrossFit's a little bit of like a, a method to getting fitter at any sport. I think it's a very good way to approach any sport as a base, there's a lot of challenges in the sport. Like it doesn't, it doesn't limit you to one thing or one uh, different challenge in, in a way, but you're kind of touching different areas and different uh, fields in the sport. So if you want to taste uh, or be a weightlifter, you're kind of getting that taste in CrossFit. You want to be a gymnast, you're kind of doing the same stuff in CrossFit. I would love for people to be more aware of it in a way, not just by making opening gyms and then going to work out, but actually hosting different events and making a bigger awareness for the sport. A good friend of mine, uh, his name was Morgan Carlson. He approached me at a gym, at my friend's gym, and he told me that he was interested in uh, sponsorship. So for me, the reason why I took it on was because I wanted to kind of be more professional with the sport. So it was a good opportunity. For able to approach me first and for them to state that, um, it meant something. It meant like, it meant that they saw something in me. So it didn't put a lot of pressure on me, but it kind of gave me that motive to be more professional day in and day out. I felt good, but I still felt like I had a lot, I have a lot to prove. I'm still young. You kind of have to, you kind of have to keep proving yourself, you know, it doesn't stop there. It's changed up a lot though in Ramadan because of the timings and we're fasting. So. I'd normally have iftar, a very light iftar, so it would be funny to say, but I have Cyrillac, like baby's food, because it's, it's simple and it doesn't bloat me, so I have that with a protein shake. And then I train after Isha prayer, which is at 8.40, 8 something, so I train at 9.15 or something. I probably do my program, so it'll consist of like strength and then my Metcons and, and everything. I'd finish in an hour and a half or so, so, but I keep it limited to one session a day in Ramadan. I don't train more than once in Ramadan. On other days though, I probably train two, two times a day. I stick to um, a healthy diet all year round. I don't eat much though, to be honest. I should, I'm, I under eat, but probably um, grilled foods, grilled, grilled chicken, grilled fish and stuff like that. Veggie, vegetables, I like a lot of vegetables. I drink milk should always be hydrated, to be honest, in Ramadan, and you should take your vitamins. I take vitamins very seriously, from zinc, magnesium, all these things. Vitamin C is very vital. So as a healthy diet, uh, just make healthy, healthy choices. You might not like be the strongest guy, the fastest or whatever, but if you're persistent with your training, in a way, and you believe in yourself, I think that you can achieve whatever you can in your sport.